trusting in God, overcoming disappointment, healing from heartbreak, choosing to forgive, and finding hope in times of loneliness. These are all real issues that we all face at some point in our lives. The question is, how in the midst of these challenges can we find fulfillment? So many people who are dealing with challenges in their life, financial mm -hmm. issues or relational issues or emotional issues or physical mm -hmm. issues. It's like, how can we find happiness and contentment where we are rather than looking over the fence, you know, through the yard mm -hmm. in someone else's world? First of all, externals can never be the only factor that determines your joy. Jesus talks about the joy um, that he gives us the world can't take away. So that suggests that our joy level should never fluctuate based on circumstances yeah. in our lives. Yeah. But we tend to focus on the happy aspect more than we do the joy aspect. Mm. So if we understood that his don'ts are not him being a killjoy, but actually wanting to add to our joy level by helping us make good choices that maintain and sustain our joy and happiness, yeah. we would cooperate with him more. We would know, we would seek his heart more to understand what he says, um, to, to follow where he points, and to understand, to really get why he says what he says. Yeah. It's all for our benefit. Yeah. It doesn't affect him. Yeah. When we are unfulfilled in our lives, mm -hmm. what we do to find fulfillment outside of God and why that's detrimental. Let's talk about that. Well, we do compromise. And, and uh, you know, when we decide that God is taking too long, mm. for some of us, you know, it's not a matter of he's not doing it. He's just taking too long. You know, so will he, will he not, you know, he loves me, he loves me not. Mm -hmm. Well, life does not consist of what other people do to make you happy. As a matter of fact, mm. God didn't even wire us to make each other happy. Come on. <laughs> Speaking of it's shell. nobody's responsibility to make you happy. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they're not capable of making you happy. Boom. Okay. The joy of the Lord is our okay. Strength. Um, yeah. Nowhere in Scripture does it indicate that people will make us happy. Mm -hmm. And when we're committed to our commitments, we have to say whether we're happy or not. I mean, yeah. God puts up with us whether He's happy with us or not because He's committed to His commitment towards us. Mm. Okay. Um, so I, I think that once again, misplaced expectations affects our faith level yeah. because when we don't have faith is when we compromise. When we mm, don't have faith good. that our marriage will be any better than it is, we ditch it and we have an affair or we get out altogether. So faith greatly affects our ability uh, to follow through and get the joy that God has. We don't believe that our situation can work out for the good. We don't believe that it can get better. Mm. So therefore we have to make it better. And when we make it better, we make it worse mm. because we've interrupted the plan of God. We've gotten out from under his umbrella and gone tripping down a trail by ourselves that will never lead to a good end. Mm. How do we build our faith? That's the question of the day. It is knowing his word consistently. Um, and the reason I always point people back to the word is because there's so much history there. Yeah. There's so much history there of people whose, whose hopes were dashed, um, who had to wait for a long time for stuff. Um, and it worked out. Yeah. So, so we see this consistent message in the word of God. Okay. Well, if he did it for them, he'll do it for you. Yes. It's just a matter of, can you hold on? Can you be mature enough? And I believe that that's why one of the fruit of the spirit is the last one that nobody ever talks about. Well, after the kindness and goodness, <laughs> all of that <laughs> is discipline, right? Self-control. Okay? Yeah. There is, there is a self-control. Happy people are self-controlled people. Mm -hmm. Okay. People who are not broke are self-controlled. Yeah. You know, they're not spending. Okay. It's Come on. hello. Mm -hmm. Um, people who are happy in marriage, are self-controlled, disciplined people. They are working on their relationships. Mm. If you could give me four points on finding fulfillment in where you are in life, what would those four, po four points be? Get over yourself and what you think you want, first of all. Boom. Okay. Um, delight in God. Like it. Mm -hmm. um, discipline yourself to trust him. Oh, that's good. Discipline yourself to trust him. It says to be careful to know God, careful to love him, yeah. careful to obey him. Yeah. So discipline yourself to trust him. Yeah. And then actually believe mm. that God wants the best for you and you deserve the best in his eyes. I love that. And I'm going to do an extra one. You ready? Mm -hmm. And recognize the good that God's done in our lives. Yes. 
if we can cling to the grace that God has blessed me so much so far and he's got so much more in store for me, we would be happy right where we are. Girl, can I get a hoo hoo? Can I get a hoo hoo? High five me. Ah. <laughs>